Alright. Looks like square root of x cubed plus the cube root of x squared dx. Okay. Uh, so Tyler, is this this is the que if this isn't the question, just let me know. But um, okay, with these, um, remember the dx. This dx doesn't mean anything right now. It just says find the antiderivative of this function. Um, you have to write every term as a power function. If it's not a trig function, it has to be a power function. Um, so the square root of x cubed can be rewritten as x to the 3 halves. Remember, radical signs, when you change it to a, a fractional power, radical signs are always on the denominator. And the powers are always the numerator. So then this one turns into x squared over, and then because the radical is a cube root, the denominator is a 3. Okay. Um, that is actually the, the tricky part to this problem. Uh, so is there any, anyone have a, a issues with that? Because that, that's it. I mean, we can now take the antiderivative. But knowing how to go from here to there is, is really the, the test. All right, good. Uh, we can finish this one. This will turn into x to the 5 halves. Now divided by 5 halves or multiply by 2 fifths. And then x to the, um, so you're going to raise one on the exponent that goes to 5 thirds divided by 5 thirds or multiply by 3 fifths plus c. Final answer will be 2 fifths. two-fifths x to the five-halves plus three-fifths x to the five-thirds plus c.